Good, Good afternoon, afternoon Pios. Today is Friday, September 20th, 2024. Hey, Annie, you like cheese, right? Of course I do. Who doesn't? It goes well with almost anything. Well, I was asking because I love cheese, and it's National String Cheese Day. Oh, yummy. We should definitely eat some pizza or something like that today. Yes, we should. And of course, Pioneers, today is Friday, so we've got a special Flashback Friday, but today Pioneers is not just one, but two babies. Double trouble is what we like to call them here. These little cuties love rugby and all of their pets. Nine pets, actually. Two snakes, a gecko, a tortoise, three cats, and two dogs. They're huge fans of Pierce the Veil. They've seen them twice in concert. One of these cuties consider herself to be extroverted, and the other is very spirited. One is currently sitting right now in Mr. Butterfield's math class, and the other is sitting in Mr. Coach's Davidson's PE class. Look around, Pioneers, to see if you can figure out who these little cuties are. Stay tuned to the end of the show to find out who they are. But with that, I'm Annie. And I'm Layla. And, and this, this is, is the Pioneer, Pioneer Press Cheesy, Cheesy Edition. Tutoring is in full effect. If you need help in math, get the assistance you need in math tutoring. It is in the iLab every day before school except Thursdays and every day after school from 3.30 through 4.30 except Fridays. And now Pioneers, live in studio, we've got Varsity Talks. What's up, Pio? So as you know, the fourth annual alumni breakfast is on next Saturday, the 28th from 9 to 11 here at Western. Wait, Vivian, what is the alumni breakfast? That's a great question, Nate. The alumni breakfast is an amazing opportunity to hear the experiences of Western student athlete alumni while also getting a delicious breakfast to go with it. Wait, Nate, who's going to be our speakers? That's a great question, Vivian. We will have Mr. Anthony Ojalabi, Mrs. Solorzano Duenas, Mrs. Mary Carmen Montañez, and Jordan Hamamoto at the breakfast speaking for us. And if you're interested in athletics, make sure to buy a ticket from any athlete on campus. It's just $10 and be sure to pull up. We'll see you there, Pios. Thank you for that. Since it's Hispanic Heritage Month, we have a video from Ms. Castro's Spanish Speakers class. Steven, roll it. Hi, Pios. This is Mrs. Castro. I'm your community school's teacher lead and Spanish teacher here at Western High School. As we kick off Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm excited to share the rich diversity of the Hispanic community here on campus. But now, let's celebrate Western's diversity by meeting some of the Latino students. Check this out. Yo soy Melanie y soy de Perú. Hola, me llamo Rebeca y soy de Guatemala. Hi, my name is Carol and I'm Mexican. Hola, soy Cristian y soy de Ensenada, México. Hi, my name is James and I'm a Chicano. Hola, yo soy Camila y soy de Colombia. Hola, mi nombre es Andromeda Bueno y soy de Tijuana, México. Hello, my name is Joao. I'm half Mexican, half Argentinian, and I was born here in the USA. Hola, yo soy Mayra y soy de El Salvador. Hola, yo soy Alessandra y soy guatemalteca. Hola, soy Diana, soy de Guatemala. Hola, yo soy Adrián y soy colombiano. Hola, yo soy Anthony y soy ecuatoriano. Hi, I'm Kristen, I'm Mexican-American. I am Christian, I am Mexican. Hi, I'm Ruth Jimenez and I'm Mexican-American. Hola, soy Emily y soy de la Ciudad de México. Hola, yo soy Valeria y soy México-americana. Hola, soy Omar y soy de Sonora, México. Hola, soy Gine y soy de Guatemala. Yeah. Hola, soy yo y Marzo de Venezuela. Hola, soy Mariana y soy de Colombia. Muévete, muévete. Today we have a Pies on the Street with Noah and Angel. Steven, roll it. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. I'm here with the Pio Press. We're doing Pio's on the streets. On the streets, right? On the streets. We're doing piles on the street here. I I'm here with... Sanaya. JJ. Daniela. Ryan. How do you feel about the game this Friday? Uh, we feeling good. You know, we like what we see on film. We got a lot of looks that uh, we're excited about. You know, we're excited to air this out on them. And it's going to be a fun game. Pop out for the home opener. 
And are you going to come to this upcoming football game on this Friday? Yeah, I'm coming to the football game this Friday. Of course, are you? Of course I am. So uh, predict the score for this football game. I think we're going to win 30 to 7. Low key, 100 0 Western. 60 0. 60 0. 0 60 0. How many touchdowns do you think you're going to score on Friday? Uh, probably like. Probably like three. I want to get three or four. Thank you, Noah and Angel. Back live in studio today, we have ASB with some quick announcements about Positivity Week. <laughs> Hi guys, ASB Vice President Alana, and today I'm here to have these two lovely ladies pull out two more positivity notes that you guys wrote to be shared on the Power Press. So if you guys could each pick one. Okay, so what do your guys' positivity notes say? You guys are all cool by Theo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sophia Tran, you're doing so well in Color Guard. You work so hard and I appreciate it so much. Keep spinning, you got this, from Crystal. Thank you guys for reading these two notes. And this is the end of Positivity Week, sadly. But let's keep on spreading positivity on campus and saying nice things to one another. So thank you guys for reading these. And see you guys again. Thank you for that announcement. Piles, anybody taking AP courses and need help raising funds to pay off their fees? Want to go on fun field trips with friends? Come and join a history club. There's a meeting today during lunch in the SSLH and find out more. And, and in, in sports, sports, here in studio we have Mr. OMG Omero with the flag football team. Ah, let's do it. What's up, what's up? How are you guys? Coach, how you doing, Mr. Cammie, I see you, Cammy. I see you over there, Cammy. Uh, can we go over to camera two, please, over here? All right, perfect. Hey, Coach, yes, big sir. game today, man. Hey, first of all, I got to say, man, congrats on the girls, man. I see a lot of energy. Love the enthusiasm from the girls. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, just the atmosphere around girls' flag? It's just, in general, it seems to be really, really popular right now. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Omedo, for having us. Um, well, with the girls' uh, flag football program here, it's our second year. Last year was, a uh, you know, induction year yeah this year we're an official cif sport wow. so we have playoffs and everything yeah uh, we start out slow had about six seven girls and then the first week of school we, we're up to 32 now wow up to 32 wow. we won our first league game last week that's today awesome. we're playing magnolia and that's why we stopped by because a lot of people you know your home school might have been magnolia but you're here <laughs> at western so it's time to uh, show right. them what they're missing out on that's right all right so who do we got here today I'm here with, uh, my name's Lila Benitez. And my name's Cami Fluelli. Awesome. So, hey, so can I buy that for a second? So, um, so what position do you play? I play liner back and cornerback. Oh, okay. Linebacker I, and? I play receiver and right. safety. And right. running back. <laughs> and uh, on a special play, though. I play everything. Like. Okay, cool. Um, so, hey, how's the year been going for you guys? It's going really good. I'm enjoying it, spending time with my teammates. It's wonderful. Love that. How about you, Cami? Uh, it's really fun. I met a lot of new people, and yeah. Cool. So what would you guys say for anybody who's interested in, like, joining flag or a sport or any of that? Well, our philosophy here on the flag football team is we're building a house. And right now we're building that solid foundation. Yeah. So that way, you know, it'll stand forever. And yeah. next year we want to incorporate the uh, framing and hopefully the roof. Right. <laughs> no, that's, that's a good way to put it because this is, it feels like it came so fast. And like you said, it's been growing so fast. And now, you know, you guys are doing a lot of, you're doing a great job with your social media. The girls are going out there. Um, so you guys have been doing a really, really cool job. So, uh, so today, coach, it's Magnolia. Yes, sir. Um, and we're here or away? We? We're here, 3 o'clock, right out there in the uh, pile practice field. Oh, that's a beautiful uh, field. Come on out and support yeah. us. We'd appreciate it. The girls love seeing, yeah. uh, you know, the uh, attendance out there and yeah, in, yeah. The, in the stands. It'd yeah, yeah. and it's beautiful, man. I've been out there. I saw the, you know, I was there about two games ago, and it's an absolutely uh, blast. The field is fantastic. Um, the colors are there, so uh, cool. All right, Pioneer, so you heard it. Uh, flag football is today, right after school, right? So we'd love to see you guys out there. Beautiful new field. Uh, the girls are playing huge Huge team today, so we have to get that W tonight. Cammy, you listening to me over there? Yeah. We have to get that W today. So, all right, guys. Hey, well, thank you guys for popping on. Thanks a lot, uh, yeah, Of course, Thanks and then lot, we'll see Miles. you guys uh, out there on the field. All right, Pioneers, flag football, 3.30 p.m. today. We'll see you out there. Go, cool. Piles.
thank you for stopping by and good luck to flag football. The Western Vars Boys Varsity Water Polo Team started with league play with an 18-6 win on Thursday at La Quinta High School. The Pioneers were led in scoring by senior Richard Plancarte and senior Nathan Villa Gomez. Junior Aaron Liza made several nice saves in the Western goal to, place, to pace the defense and lead the team to victory. The next home game for water polo is Monday versus Kennedy at 3.15 p.m. Great job, water polo. Go, Go Big, Big Blue! Blue. And, and that's, that's all we have, have for today, piles. piles. But of course, before we go, let's get to our flashback. And it's drumroll, Gracie and Rowan Graham. Gracie is currently a junior and Rowan is a sophomore. Gracie is in varsity cheer and Rowan is in varsity flag. Gracie sees herself working as a travel, travel ultrasound tech and would love to be a stay-at-home mom with two kids and three cats. Rowan sees herself as a reptile and dog mom with no kids, only fur babies and reptile babies. These two are very involved in all things Western, and we appreciate the spirit and energy you two ladies bring to our school. Oh, and we have a special video that they also sent in. Let's check out the Gracie and Rowan shenanigans. Steven, roll, roll it. Angel. 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 Uh. Wow, that's super cute. That's gotta go viral. Thank you, thank you, Gracie and Rowan, for sending that in. Today's outro song is Die With A Smile by Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga. This song was number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for three weeks. And as always, Pioneers, make sure to stay connected with us through all your favorite social media platforms using at the Pile Press. Be sure to tag us on all your favorite photos and videos using hashtag Pile Press. If you would like to be featured as a wayback, throwback, or flashback like Gracie and Rowan, reach out to us using at the Pile Press. And as always, Pioneers, we hope you have a fabulous, fantastic, fun Friday. And we'll see you again on Monday. Press on, Piles! Okay, bye.